I received this question. Why do I feel so attached to someone and have a feeling of abandonment? Sometimes I care about others' feelings more than mine. Is that unresolved trauma? Hi, my name is Guru Pashupati and welcome to the Daily Pashupati Show where I'll be answering your questions with the aim and the mission of helping people to get back their own mental health and their own physical health. You have to be in charge of your own health and if you're in charge of your own health then what happens is that you have the abundance of time. Because we don't have health, we feel that we don't have time. I'm 40, now I'm running out of time, I'm 50, I'm running out of time. You won't have these feelings if you had an abundance of health. All right? So I think primarily before we get wise and before we can really understand life, you're already 40. And then maybe sometimes 50. And then you don't have the health or the energy. So I want everybody to enjoy a second youth. Anyway, back to the question. Why do I feel so attached to someone and have a fear of abandonment? So this whole fear of abandonment business comes from our ancestors. When we used to live as a tribe against very difficult circumstances with, uh, you know, wild animals and natural disasters, we, we used to live only till 35 years old. And in that, if we were abandoned by a tribe and not allowed, if we were ostracized, then our rates of survival fell and we would probably not even, uh, on our own, you know, as an adult, let's say an 18 year old adult gets uh, abandoned by the tribe, then they wouldn't even survive to 19 or 20 alone. Okay? Because that's how harsh the world was. And our ancestors have passed this memory that we should not be abandoned. If anybody abandoned us, we feel as if we are going to die. And so we want to somehow work on it and reverse it. So this attitude is called Agama Karma. Alright? And Agama Karma is stored in our nervous system and we have to uh, remove it. And there are methods in yoga to remove Agama Karma. I've posted so many of them. Uh, one of the uh, easiest methods to remove Agama Karma is to find that object. Find where you're feeling it. Okay, so if I say, and I think of this like, I mean, I think of that someone and I feel this fear of abandonment. I'd find out where it is. It's nothing to do with that person. It's nothing to do with you. It's coming from Agama Karma. Remember this. Being abandoned now is not a big deal. As long as you've got Wi-Fi, you'll never feel abandoned, right? We have evolved a lot from our ancestors. We needn't carry their fears. We should carry new fears, which are relevant, right? That time the fear was relevant. It's not a problem to have relevant fears. If anybody says, I'm fearless, there's no bigger idiot than him. You have to be afraid of something or the other. So, uh, the and it's wise to be afraid of real danger, but this being abandoned is not a real danger. Now, what if your friend abandons you? Even your logical mind knows you're going to go and find somebody else. Uh, like so many billions of people on this planet, at least one of them will like you. So it's really not a problem, okay? But we can't think like this. We think we're going to die, right? So how to stop that? When you get that feeling, oh, they're abandoning me, I'm going to die. Where do you feel it? Maybe you feel it in the pit of your stomach, okay? So you look in the pit of your stomach and see what kind of object, how, how, what is the shape of that pain? Find that pain, take it with both your hands, take that object, it's a mental object, take that object and throw it into a blue flame. This blue flame is the blue flame of my teacher, Mahavatar Babaji, and he's made it available to anybody to throw their Agama Karma and other such karmas in. So whenever you find some kind of block, start thinking this new thought, where is it in my body? Once you find it in your body, then you can pick it out and throw it away. And then you can be free forever. Okay? So that's uh, why do I feel so attached to someone? It's really not, nothing to do with them, nothing to do with you. You probably knew this because you can't control it, right? It's coming from your deep subconscious. Okay. Sometimes I care about others' feelings more than mine. Is that unresolved trauma? No, this is also Agama Karma. Because uh, for many years, young people, and I'm assuming that you're a young person, but even if you're not, for many years, uh, we I mean for many, many years as an adult, we do not really truly receive our autonomy. Many people receive their autonomy after their parents die. Till then, they cannot be autonomous. So it's programmed into us that we have to care for other people's opinion and that's how this whole system continues. This is another programming. Find it. Where does it irritate you in your head? Maybe it's in your neck. 
So you take it out of there, put it in the blue plate or a flame, and thank Babaji. That's it. It's gone. Okay? So this is one of the methods to remove karma. There are a thousand methods to remove karma, okay? And I keep teaching this to my students. So uh, every Sunday on my Giri uh, Yoga group. So if you want to be a part of the group, get in touch with me so that you can learn more such techniques. I hope you found this useful. If you did, leave a comment and uh, hit share. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.